first poem was written in front of a, in front of the Starbucks of the Leather Arboretum in 2004. It's called Dust. Dawn feather brushed the world from tops of trees to parking lot. Birds trained to approach for muffin bits. Such a beautiful adaptive harmony exists. I believe that the animals that survive will do a better job of adapting this world. This world of circuits where electrons sing, this world of paper and diamond ring, this world of chirps and beeps and locks, this world of trade from trucks to docks. Dawn cast a light mist on my morning. From leaf to branch, the years pass by. From stall a dream, we wonder why. Our fashions fade as dreams of rust and settle the memories of life and dust. <coughs> I was uh, living in East Austin at the time, and I was uh, doing my laundry off of the uh, airport with my dog. And this is called Beliefs. I never believed and had the courage to laugh at Payne's insistent jokes, somewhat the pan-type prankster, never to fully disclose my fears of life. I suppose I'll never know the difference between love's poignant, shape-shifting fate, and I've seen life through a beer bottle haze, my thoughts tumbling as a tin can on asphalt. My black Labrador dreams of fishing boats, and neither of us know the meaning of this. We just know that together we'll live until electrons stop spinning and cells decay. And all beliefs aside, this life is a gift. Speaking for myself and my dog, such a loyal, faithful teacher is he. And there is no hidden meaning as I watch the cars pass by. <coughs> this is called crisis. There's a crisis in some country, some country where I've never been. People are dying, bullets flying, a small child limp in a mother's arms. There's a crisis in a country on a map, swollen, bloated, hunger of famine. But the football game is on, and the TV churns them on. There's a crisis at the gas pump, in the oil fields, in the human shields, in the checkout lines, in the parking fines, the traffic jams, and the fishing scams. There's a crisis in some country, some country that I've never seen. It should be my business, they say, my business to let my attention stray. As my soul wanders, soul in flight, as my attention wanders from flowers to blight, as my attention wanders from soul to psychosis, as my attention wanders from reality to some country in crisis. This is also about death. This is called souls. I alternate between the silences, distinct as the butterfly markings that mark the passing of life's days, the playground of our human souls. And the latest fads of self-discovery would not have carved a monument they could have held back their graves, many times enamored by the strength. Yet sometimes in limp whispers I say, I miss you, to the silence of the radio, to a silence once filled with such joy. And I don't know that I want to relate to another human, another soul in life. Maybe life is only as real as these memories, flooding our waking dreams and thoughts, these silences, just keep drifting in these memories and these emotions. This is an aspiration poem. It's called One in a Million. God placed a million flowers here and there all through life. Some flowers to be cherished up close. Some flowers just as important never to be seen. Flowers in the deserts, in the mountains, on the rocks of the cliff and in the sea. Sometimes in a nice word or a helping hand. Sometimes the decision behind the scenes. And there are these times when the very best we can do is accept all the weeds around. And all it takes is this motion of faith, this motion of faith to notice that God has always placed these flowers here and there and everywhere and left me with the strongest desire to be one in a million flowers in this lifetime.